First, it's a very young district. You know, a significant amount of the population is under the age of 35. I'm 34 years old. When we win, I will be the youngest woman in Congress. Number two, it's a very diverse district. Uh, I'm South Asian American. The largest minority group in this district is South Asian. And when we win, we will be the first Indian woman to ever be in the United States Congress. Three, it's a district that's incredibly socially progressive, but it's also fiscally responsible. They voted for Bloomberg. So I don't think that coming from a, the financial services industry is necessarily a disqualifier for me in running. So I uh, said no to my State Department job, uh, resigned my job, and uh, Carolyn Zoloni decided not to run for Congress. And in that time, we had really gone out there and, and talked to so many people who felt like they weren't part of the system, that their voices weren't being heard. And uh, consultant-less, five friends and I decided to put up a website and we said, let's see what will happen. And we raised $50,000 online in, in small dollar donations in two weeks. We had hundreds of people sign up to volunteer. And we know that we had really kind of started a movement. So why am I running? What are the things that I passionately feel for and, and want to work on when I get into Congress? Number one, jobs in the economy. When I started running for Congress, one out of four people that I knew didn't have a job. And that even though it seemed as though we're adding more jobs to the economy, the unemployment rate isn't going down, it's stabilizing. And what we've learned from this recession is that you know, we're overly reliant on the financial services sector and government. There's no middle anymore. We have to diversify our economy. 20 years ago, almost all the clothes on our backs were, were created right here in New York. And I really believe that we have to start creating things again. So from the beginning when we launched our campaign, we started going out there and talking to entrepreneurs and people who really who want to start micro businesses and small businesses. And what we found is that New York City can really be the next Silicon Valley. It is just a hotbed of people who want to start their next nano company, digital tech, biotech, clean tech, and actual and industries that I think that we can actually lead in. And so we have been, from the beginning, proposing this idea of a national innovation fund, which would help these startup companies start their new companies and actually create investment in these industries that we can lead in. And I'm very proud of the work that we've already done on that and how much we've added to the conversation uh, about innovation and entrepreneurship. The second thing I feel very passionately about is immigration reform. I'm the daughter of, of political refugees, and in this country, gave my father and my parents a chance. Ironically, it was Ed Koch, who represented the very district that I'm running in right now, who was the strongest advocate and helped my parents get a visa to come here. So it is my honor, all these years later, to make a bid for the seat that he once represented. I believe that we can't fix a broken economy, our broken economy on, on a broken immigration system. And what's happened in Arizona is just simply disgusting. And I think that New York, being the city of immigrants, being the country where all of us, every single person in this room, has a story like my father does and like my mother does. We are all the children, somehow, some way, of immigrants. And it's been the fact that the, this country has given us the ability to re resurrect the American dream that we are all sitting here today. And I think we have to fight for the values that are so important to this nation. The third thing that I feel passionately about is smart Wall Street reform. Ever since we launched our campaign, it has angered me that it's taken so long and we still haven't passed a financial services bill out of Congress. We need to have a systematic risk regulator. We need to have better consumer protection. I was speaking to some small business owners in Queens and they said, you know, one day they just looked at their credit card bill and their rates had gone up from 12 to 22%. They don't know how to change it. We need to fight for our consumers. We need to have higher capital requirements. We should never have a system where taxpayers are bailing out big banks. 